Hello everyone, welcome to Information with Tepiso. I am Tepiso Arangwechana and you tuned in to the Monday, the 12th of September 2022's Rhapsody Reading. Today's title is Songs of the Spirit. While you think of that title, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Please go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Please go ahead and like and also share these messages with your loved ones. And then don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below. Now let us get back to the Rhapsody reading. The opening scripture is Ephesians chapter nine, chapter 5 verse 19. sorry, And it reads as follows. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Pastor says the phrase spiritual songs in the verse above means songs of the spirit. The Apostle Paul made the same reference in 1 Corinthians 14 verse 14 to 15 when he talked about singing in tongues, singing in the spirit. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit, and I will pray with my with the understanding also. I will sing with the Spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. Singing with the Spirit is singing in other tongues. These songs come out of your spirit, not from your understanding. It's similar to the way you yield your tongue to the Holy Spirit to pray in tongues, only that this time you are singing in other tongues and worshiping the Lord. Jesus said, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. John 4 verse 24. Worshiping in the spirit is the climax. Oh, hallelujah. You may sing and worship the Lord in your understanding and that's okay. But ascend higher. Sing songs of the Spirit from your spirit. Ooh. Worship and relate from your spirit. It's a deeper fellowship. Your songs of the Spirit are songs of worship and praise to the Lord. Those listening to you may not like the tune or melody, but it makes no difference. You are not singing to them. You are singing to the Lord. You are making melodies of worship to the Lord, just as praying in tongues isn't unto men but unto God. We see that in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 2. Worshipping in the Spirit brings about a divine exchange. As your spirit passes words in the Spirit to God, the Holy Spirit imparts information to your spirit. When you're through with the with with, with when you're through with such sessions of worship and fellowship, you are full of the Spirit and are in dominion. At that point, nothing moves you. You are more than certain of your victory. Your Spirit has the dominion. Christianity is a life of the Spirit, lived from the inside out. Therefore, learn to worship the Lord in the Spirit, with your Spirit and by the Holy Spirit. For we are the circumcision, which worship God in the Spirit, and rejoice in Christ Jesus, and have no confidence in the flesh. We see that in Philippians chapter 3, verse 3. Let us take today's prayer. Please raise your hand and follow me by saying, Blessed Lord, your glory fills the earth, and your righteousness is upon the nations. Splendor and majesty are before you. Strength and glory are in your dwelling place. You have beautified my life and anointed me to proclaim your love, your mercies, and your grace. I'll sing of your love forever and of your faithfulness that's ever sure. Blessed be your name forever. Further studies, we read John chapter 4, verse 23 to 24 with the AMPC version. And Psalms chapter 150, verse 1 to 5. 
1 Corinthians 14 verse 2. If you're on the one year Bible reading plan today, we're reading 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 16 to 33 and Ecclesiastes chapter 1 to 2. And then if you're on the two year Bible reading plan, today we're reading 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 1 to 7 and Jeremiah 30. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Let us meet tomorrow with tomorrow's message and have a beautiful day. This is information with Tabiso.